Hello, my name is Moti Newman. I'm the chairman of the Irish Jewish Museum. The short video you're about to watch will introduce you with our important mission and will provide you with the taste of the Irish Jewish Museum. I hope you will enjoy it. This year, the Irish Jewish Museum is celebrating its 25th anniversary. The Irish Jewish Museum represents not just cultural, historical, and sentimental importance for the Jewish community and the Irish public, but plays an important educational role by being a window for the wider public into Jewish life. Over 150 different nationalities now live in Ireland, and many of them have never had any exposure to Jewish culture. The Irish Jewish Museum is committed to fostering a better understanding of Judaism and the Irish Jewish experience and serves as a model for tolerance and diversity in 21st century Ireland. We are now standing in front of the Jewish Museum building. As you can see, the museum is part of a block composed of seven terraced residential houses. This block of houses was built around the mid-19th century in the area of Portobello that was once the heartland of Little Jerusalem as this densely populated Jewish area in Dublin was once known. In 1916, two adjoining houses of this block, numbers 3 and 4 which we see here, were merged and converted to form a synagogue, including a community hall. The synagogue operated for about 55 years, until the early 1970s, when it fell into disuse due to the migration of the Jewish community from this neighborhood. The Irish Jewish Museum was opened in 1985 by the late President of Israel, Chaim Herzog, who was born and raised in Ireland and used to live just round the corner from the museum. His father, Rabbi Dr. Yitzchak Herzog, was in fact Ireland's first chief rabbi. The museum has come a long way since its opening in 1985. It has welcomed many thousands of visitors from all walks of life, school groups, tourists, researchers, and the general public from all ethnic, faith, and cultural backgrounds. Interest in the museum is growing rapidly every year, and the existing premises are clearly no longer fit for purpose. As you've noticed, the museum is not large enough, and this limits the amount of artifacts that can be displayed. As you can see, this makes it difficult and quite claustrophobic for large groups of visitors or guests. The museum building is rapidly deteriorating, and educational and cultural activities are greatly curtailed by the museum's size and physical limitations. The poor condition of the old building urges us to initiate a rescue project which will enlarge and upgrade the museum and will incorporate modern and advanced standards. To mark the occasion of the 25th anniversary of the Irish Jewish Museum, we recently had the honour of welcoming a very special guest, the President of Ireland, Mary McAleese, who is fully supporting the development and modernisation of the Irish Jewish Museum. Here is President McAleese sharing her views on the museum and its redevelopment. We think of your uh, brother, we think of Raphael, um, who embodied the story of the Jewish people <coughs> in Ireland in his life and in the service to both Ireland and the Jewish community. 
So it's entirely fitting, I know, that you intend to honour his memory with plans for future plans for um, extending the museum, upgrading the museum, and surely that would be a, a great labour of love in his name. But I also think, too, on this day, the late David Byers, um, who one of the commissioners of uh, the Office of Public Works, I know, who was also a great friend to this museum and died also way too young. Um, and I know and reassure you that his support for the museum is shared by other senior officials in the Irish government who are very anxious to assist at uh, all sorts of technical levels in the further development of the museum. Because what you keep here is, of course, part of Irish patrimony. It's part of our shared patrimony and a very important part of the story of our shared patrimony. I know that the place exists by virtue of that great thing called the volunteer. Uh, and thank goodness for people who don't work for bonuses, who work for belief, who work for passion. Thank God for people who put their hearts and souls into projects like this. And in the giving of that little piece of themselves are able to create and sustain and develop this place. So a big thank you to all those who do that. This place is, well, it's a testimony to your goodness. It's just simply a testimony to as they were investing lives in doing that. But many of them might never live to see a day like this. They might never live to see uh, even their work showcased as beautifully as it is. But that didn't stop them. That isn't why they did it. That isn't why they did it. They did it for posterity. They did it for the next generation. They did to hand on a baton of care. And I hope that over the next 25 years, the baton of care will be very, very, very carefully, carefully stewarded by those who commit to keeping this place, developing and sustaining it. I hope to be back. The 25th anniversary of the Irish Jewish Museum, a special concert was held featuring a sold-out performance by the world-renowned Zimratia Cantorial Choir from Israel. The concert was attended by many Irish dignitaries and foreign ambassadors in support of our redevelopment project. We are celebrating tonight the 25th anniversary of the Irish Jewish Museum, a museum that has come a long way since its opening 25 years ago, a museum that received thousands of visitors from all walks of life, school groups, tourists, researchers, and the general public, people come from every ethnic, faith, and cultural background. A museum that tells the story of the Irish Jewish people to experience and their contribution to this society and to this country. A museum that tells the story of the Jewish religion, a religion whose <coughs> ethics and practice are knowledge by and particular interest to those professing the Christian religion. This is only the beginning of what we are celebrating tonight. We are now planning to launch our big project, which is to enlarge and upgrade the museum to modern day standards so that we can continue to attract visitors and fulfill the museum's cultural and educational objectives so that it can serve as a model for tolerance and diversity in 21st century. On behalf of the management committee of the Irish Jewish Museum, I am honored to announce the launch of the expansion project which will help the museum to achieve its important goals, providing a building of the highest standard with a new wing to be named in honor of its late curator, the Raphael Ziv Wing. The next piece we gratefully thank you. The following adjoining houses numbers 5, 6 and 7, which were not occupied in recent years due to their deteriorating condition, were purchased by the former curator of the museum, the late Rafel Sieve, for the sole purpose of expanding the museum. Recently, with the generous support of the Irish government through the Office of Public Works, architectural plans and drawings for the new building were completed. We are now in the process of obtaining the necessary planning permission. As the draft design represented here shows, this project will ultimately result in a beautiful, 
modern and fit for purpose museum and cultural centre that can ably cater for all our needs. Exhibition space and display, preservation, education and workshops, entertainment, religious affairs, social and evening functions. Essentially, the plan involves removing the existing block of two-storey houses and replacing it with a new modern building six times the size of the existing museum, including an additional underground storey. The preservation of the original state of the existing synagogue on the upper floor as an integral part of the new building plans presented the greatest challenge. As part of the Preservation Act, the new museum building will maintain the existing facades as can be seen on this road. The main entrance will now be located to the side of the museum on the adjoining road. The Irish Jewish Museum is dedicated to providing visitors with a comprehensive and unique learning experience of Judaism, its sources and its customs, the Jewish people and their history, and milestones of tragic events that have littered Jewish history, such as the Holocaust. The museum also incorporates the history of the Jewish people in Ireland, their integration and their contribution to Irish society. The entire project will require funding of close to 10 million euro, which is about $13 million. This will include a sinking fund to ensure the ongoing operation and maintenance of the museum into the future. The majority of this funding must be raised by the summer of 2012. With your generous contribution to this important project, we will make this dream a reality. The museum in its new form is earmarked, as defined by the Irish government representative, to be the jewel in the crown of Dublin's cultural and tourist attractions. It will continue to attract more and more visitors annually and will fulfil its important cultural and educational objectives. Thank you for watching this video. With your generous contribution to this magnificent and important project, we will make it happen.